Welcome to the Yuzima Health and Wellness Podcast. Do you believe that uh, for Black women, this whole thought about hair, I got my hair braided, it makes it easier. You have a lovely haircut. Um, do you really think that's a barrier to, help, um, to exercising for Black women? Um, I think it has been in the past. I think now they've gotten past that. Um, D.L. Hughley, <laughs> one of my favorite comedians, he, uh, not how one black woman was, I don't want to mess up my hair. He was like, we'd rather have you um, nappy in here than silky and gone. <laughs> he said, I'll give you a kitchen looking like <laughs> Wallace, Ben Wallace. <laughs> Just be here. Just do what you need to do. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's, that's, a, and then that's one of my other lines that, you know, the hair, we have folks walking around with red bottoms. We got folks, we got our black sisters that are, we are one of the most educated and yes. most professional people in the world. Mm -hmm. Folks that you got your weaves, you got your nails, you got your lashes, you got red oh, bottoms. Oh, come on now. You, don't start a fight on the show. <laughs> you get, but sessions are $100 a session. You're like, oh, I can't do that. That's too, your health, you can't buy good health. When you get sick, you sick, pumpkin. You can't buy good health. And that's one thing with my sisters that I implore, rethink mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And I'm asking you to, and, and if that's not in your budget, which is a shame if you can afford to drive around in a Tesla fights. and have red bottoms on, you can afford a trust, personal trainer that knows what they're doing, you know? Well, let me just say that um, let's, let's, let's give a shout back out to our moms. I think that, um, some of this is a mindset, okay? Um, and it's not easily resolved. I had a mom uh, that was very active, still is. Uh, she just retired uh, 25 years of being a uh, fitness instructor at the Y. And I think that, you know, maybe some changes with COVID, but, you know, she ran the uh, Texas um, Tenneco, uh, whatever, whatever they called it back then. But anyway, she was one of the first people running the Houston Marathon, okay? And, and you're right, in our communities, we don't have all these gym options, um, you know, but our communities um, do have community centers. I think there's PG County Sports Complex. Uh, we're fortunate to have some green space in the Maryland uh, area, Virginia area, with great walking trails. Right. Um, so I do see that um, some of the areas really can be utilized. I think that we do have to recognize that some communities are uh, under siege in terms of being uh, concrete areas uh, that are not safe. Right. And uh, people have gotten conditioned to, particularly at a certain age, of being inside for safety. Um, but I do recognize too your other issue. We can move about to go see, do, do other things, then we should plan to make a trip to a neighborhood park. Uh, to get some exercise. Um, mm -hmm. COVID has made that very challenging as well. People are fearful um, in some areas, uh, particularly when they need to exercise. That 50 and older crowd um, really need to continue to exercise, but COVID for the last year has made people reserved about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're also battling the thought, the, battling the thing, it's called the COVID 20 pounds. People are in-house eating. Uh, we're also looking at, um, uh, people uh, using more uh, cigarette smoking going up, um, alcohol use going up during this period uh, because people have either been laid off or stressed out. Hi, Uzima family. If you like what you're seeing and what you're hearing, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon below to be notified of our recent videos. What the doctor say?